Good morning. Good morning. How is everyone doing? <clears throat> thank you. And thank you for joining us here in Abu Dhabi for Nokia World. This has been a remarkable time for Nokia. It's been a remarkable time for our industry, but most of all, for the people who love great experiences. It's exciting. It's ever-changing. It's a constant pattern of innovation. At Nokia, we have been on a path to design beautiful phones that help people capture and share their world. So today, I am excited to share with you the next generation of Nokia innovation. With these new products, we are building on our award-winning designs. We are extending our leadership in imaging. We are creating new experiences for people. We're inspiring developers, operators, and our many partners. And as always, Nokia is connecting people, connecting people to each other and to their world. Now, earlier this year, I had the fantastic opportunity to introduce the Nokia Asha 501 in India. It was the first page in a new chapter for the Asha family. With a new platform and compact design, the Asha 501 reinvented the highly affordable smartphone. Nokia Asha 501 downloads, get this, since the product was introduced, have already surpassed 26 million. Developers are bringing their key titles to our Asha family, titles like Facebook, Foursquare, LinkedIn, Twitter, and of course, our own Here Maps. Building on this success, I would like to introduce to you the next three members of the Nokia Asha family. We are introducing a beautiful new design, we're bringing a smarter camera to Asha, and we're creating more social experiences. The difference will be very clear to you. It will be crystal clear. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet the Nokia Asha 500, the Nokia Asha 502, and the 3G Nokia Asha 503. This is the new Nokia design. The bold colors that have defined Nokia devices are now sealed beneath an icy clear exterior, which really captures the light and makes those colors even more vibrant and long-lasting. This approach delivers both beauty and real strength. Across the ASHA 500, the 502, and the ASHA 503, we're introducing this dual-shot layering effect, which is a design unique to Nokia. But the beauty of the experience doesn't end there. To help me share this, I'd like to invite Mohammed Al Sheikh to join me on stage. Mohammed is part of our developer team here in the United Arab Emirates. Good morning, Welcome, Steve. Mohammed. Morning. Welcome. Thank you. Morning. Now, five months ago, we introduced you to Swipe. With one swipe, you can access everything on the ASHA device. You can access things like images, music, and of course, your most recent activity via the fast lane screen. Now we're taking swipe to the ASHA camera for a great imaging experiences. It takes just one swipe to capture great pictures. Thank you, Stephen. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. And marhaban, welcome to Abu Dhabi. Um, as Stephen mentioned, I work with developers across the region, and really we're building the best apps for the, both the Nokia ASHA and the Nokia Lume ecosystem. And building a lot of apps with developers means for me personally I need to travel a lot. So I had the chance in the last couple of weeks to travel to great cities. And I took my Nokia Asha 502 with me. So I was in Cairo, which is my home city. And from Cairo, I went over to Helsinki to see Stephen. And from there, I flew back to Paris. From Paris to my second home city, Dubai. And from Dubai, finally here to Abu Dhabi. So in five different cities, in five weeks, I took all my pictures with a 5 megapixel camera with flash. And this is available on both the Nokia Asha 502 
and the Nokia Asha 503. Great. So let me show everybody how easy it is actually to take pictures. So the first thing I do is I double tap the device to wake it up. And then I slide up to get direct access to the camera. In camera mode, I can then long press anywhere on the camera. And it would bring me up all the different settings for the camera. So I could decide whether I want to have flash, uh, whether I want to use the timer or not, set up the white balance, choose an, an effect for my picture, if I want to sit, hear, hear the shutter sound, and of course define the photo resolution. But using swipe, I can change to different modes. So I can switch to a video mode very simply by just swiping to left. If I swipe right, I come back to the camera mode, and again, swiping right again will take me to my gallery. So Stephen, can I take a picture of you? Sure can. Wonderful. <laughs> Do I have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Done. Okay. Perfect. So let me show what I can do then with that picture that we just took. So, not bad, huh? Not bad. Yeah, right. Very good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> good. So, just tapping on the picture, I can instantly share it on my social network. Just one tap and it's done. The phone is uploading the picture in the background and I have different options. So I can also, if I click on share again, I can select to share that picture via text, via email, or if I want to slam it via Bluetooth, and of course, sharing it with favorite social networks that I have. Well, and we have some very exciting news as it relates to those networks. Starting next month, you can also share these images on WhatsApp. And to help us celebrate that, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Jan Koum, founder and CEO of WhatsApp, to join us here today. Jan. Thank you. Hey, thank, thank you, you Stephen. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Thank you for having us here today. Really excited to be here. It took us 24 hours to get here from Silicon Valley. But we wanted to come out to Abu Dhabi because we're a global company. And just like Nokia, which is also a global company, we believe in bringing communication to everybody in this world. This is actually a little bit of a dream come true for me. As, as a little kid growing up in Russia, I always wanted to have a Nokia phone, believe it or not. And they, the legendary Nokia ringtone that you heard at the very beginning of the keynote is imprinted into my memory. It is because of my personal affinity for the Nokia brand and because how global and how important they are to our mission. In 2009, we committed and started working with Nokia on building WhatsApp for everybody with a phone. Our missions are very aligned. Nokia is a global company. WhatsApp is a global company. Nokia talks about connecting people. We talk about connecting people. Because of our commitment to cross-platform and because of everything we've done together with Nokia, today we're happy to announce we have over 350 million monthly active users on WhatsApp network. Thank you. Thank you, Steven. But we're here today to talk about Asha. Asha is very exciting for us. Asha allows us to reach emerging markets. You've talked, Stephen, you've heard Stephen talk about next billion previously. We at WhatsApp also talk about next billion, next two billion, next three billion. We want everybody on the planet to have a smartphone, to have internet on their device, and to have WhatsApp on their phone. Nokia and Stephen's team are making that possible. They're making affordable phones where we can build an affordable communication platform on top of. Because of our mission and because how aligned we are, 
We're extremely happy to announce that WhatsApp will be available for Azure starting next month for all of these Azure phones. And the best part is you will be able to enjoy the same features that you come to love. Group chat, ability to share photos that you've just heard, and voice messaging. All the features that we have today will be available in Asha. It is very exciting, and I want to thank Steven and his team for working with us to make that possible. We're also extremely excited about the future. Mark Andreessen recently talked about five billion people very soon having a phone, a smartphone. And it's amazing when you think about it. These, these are the places that didn't have internet. People who will be buying these smartphones never owned a desktop or a laptop. And soon they'll be able to have a phone that has Google, Wikipedia, WhatsApp. It's always on, it's always connected, and we're really excited about it. And we're really excited to be working with Nokia to get it done. Before I leave, I want to share some very interesting fact. As I was getting on a plane, I actually looked up at our statistics, and I noticed something very interesting. We never talk about our daily numbers or daily registrations. But I noticed something peculiar that I wanted to share with everybody here today. It's actually quite mind-blowing. Every day, we register 250,000 people across all of our Nokia devices. Symbian, Asha, Lumia. Every day, almost a quarter million people are able to sign up for WhatsApp and communicate with their friends and family and stay in touch with their loved ones. It's amazing, and we want to thank Steven and his team for doing everything to make it possible. Thank you, Steven. John, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That is really terrific.